How to catch the office food thief. Recipe number 21. You take a bar of Dial soap. You you put something up its ass. You cover it in chocolate and, well, there you go. I had to explain that one just in case you weren't paying attention. Just in case you weren't watching. Were you, Tim? Hello, Tim? I'm right here, okay? I'm free entertainment for you. The least you can do is look me in the eye. I'm going to buy a parrot and only teach it to say four phrases. Rap! I miss my hands! Yeah, they all sound like that. They all sound like that. Never break a promise to a witch. There's only one way to lift the curse. I just want to hug my kids again. And then maybe you could add one. Help! This is supposed to help guide blind people. <laughs> okay, that's no way. Was there seriously not a single person on that team? that had anything to say. Nothing to say at all. Commenting, I'm a lucky man on other people's girlfriend's posts. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, not girlfriend's po- I see what you're saying. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Did you know that every tire comes with a pre-installed GPS chip so you could be located in 5G networks? If you don't want to be tracked, you have to cut off the little antenna that sticks out right there. That's true, I did that with mine, and those liberals made my tires flat so fast. I didn't know they could do that remotely if they catch you doing it. You, uh, what the hell? I wear a ring now, and the amount of men checking me out or talking to me reduced by 80%. My guy wears a ring, and the amount of women checking him out or talking to him doubled. What the hell's wrong with you women? I knew a single guy in college that wore a fake wedding ring because it helped him get attention from women. He slept with dozens of women that thought he was cheating on his wife with them. When he told them that he was single afterwards, they were all outraged. Uh, <laughs> they were, all, like, all outraged at once? Did he, like, gather them into a lecture hall? Also, bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's the internet, everyone lies. In blank, a Chicago man bought a car for $600, registered it in his ex-girlfriend's name, then parked at O'Hare Airport and racked up $105,000 in tickets. Again, we've seen this one before and I'm still wondering, can you not sue for that? I feel like that in and of itself is a form of fraud or crime or something, I don't know. This is what happens when you put a penny in a microwave for two minutes. Yo, you just made me start a fire in the house. Okay, maybe you should have taken one home ec class growing up. Say, oh my god, look at the blood on her pants in a crowded hall. And the girls who turn around are the ones on their period? Yeah, I'm pretty despicable. Hey man, it could be worse. You could be me. Some woman named Ursula gives out my phone number to debt collectors, the DA's office, and somehow got it attached to a fingerprinting database. I can't tell you how many threatening phone calls I've received from debt collectors, bail bondsmen, and lawyers after her ass. Most of the time it's easy enough to clear up, but sometimes they refuse to accept that I'm not covering for her. This has been going on for 20 years, and I've yet to receive a single nude from a 20 some What the f*** is this? I feel like I'm missing some context here. What the hell are you saying? Edit. Didn't change my number because I was in college for 10 years, and contact information was super important, which transitioned into me needing to register my number for professional licensing purposes, which is a pain to change. During all this, the frequency of the calls waxed and waned, but it was never a huge issue. The advent of telescammers and the death of the American phone call, shut up, Grandpa, has made me not answer my phone in like two years anyway, so it just doesn't matter anymore. Ursula, if you're reading this, I hate you. I feel like something was out of order there. That one just came up, man. I don't know. Hey guys, just wanted to pop in here to remind y'all about the new merch over at mkshop.com. Made with 100% cotton, you can feel the heft from the very first second you pull it out of your mailbox. Take a look at our new hoodie, for example. This is probably the best hoodie I've ever worn in my life. It is the comfiest, the coziest. So head on over to mkshop.com now and use code BOOBIN at checkout to get yourself free shipping. All right, back to the content. Have you heard of the Harvard-MIT pigeon prank? No, I haven't. You want to tell me the story? An MIT student dressed in a black and white striped shirt went to the Harvard football stadium every day of one summer, blowing a whistle while scattering breadcrumbs or birdseed to coax neighborhood pigeons down onto the field. At Harvard's opening game of the season, upon the referee's first whistle, it said that hundreds of pigeons descended onto the field, causing a half-hour delay. There was a split second in my head where I was very confused at how, you know, well, do they not practice on the field? And then remembered you said summer. And, uh, I'm the idiot. Customer just handed me a folded up 50 as a tip. I hate this place, I hate everyone, and I hate myself. Disappointed? Jesus won't let you down in your life. 
You're a goddamn asshole if you do this. Got a wrong number text, and, uh... All right, well, let's see what it's all about. Hello, Gus. It is Sarah. Almost the weekend. I really like the area near 508 Water Street, and was not sure if it was on the market, or did you have future plans to list it? I'm so sorry. Last night around 11.30 p.m., the property burnt to the ground due to a gang dispute. A child behind me. Mom, there are only four donuts left. Me. Four donuts, please. Now that one, God will find you for. So... My bitch-ass neighbor called the police because I was smoking on the balcony. The police get there and ask, where the weed at? I said, I smoked it all. They said, where'd you buy it? I said, from the neighbor. Now they're at his house looking and searching his sh Well played. <laughs> Maybe mind your own f business. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm pranking my sister. Let's hope she shits her pants. Dude, that's not... There are certain... There's a certain level. There's a certain level of scaring somebody that can kill them. You gotta chill. Dude, if I saw this... Oh, I'd whoop your ass. Holy shit, that is so not cool. A Christmas present for their little brother. Ah, all right. Well, you better get that welding certification there, bro. Hey, dumbass, stop texting my girlfriend. Do you want some problems? What if I do? Okay, take note. If a train is traveling at 72 kilometers an hour on a road of 360 kilometers, how much time will it take for it to arrive? That sure was a way to ask that question. Damn you, man. I'll leave her alone. Just calm down. That's better, asshole. Public outcry over toys that look like food sent to Gazan children instead of real food. Why do I feel like this was some sick mother <laughs> actual purposeful Never mind. It... God damn it. When I'm a doctor doing a surgery right before the person goes out under the anesthesia, I'm going to say, Okay, pull up the WikiHow article. Are you Satan? No, they're 12. Bought my son a 300-piece toolkit and a toolbox for his 15th birthday. I stole his 10 millimeter. He needs to learn that the struggle is real. I am full of life lessons. I'm gonna be honest with you here. We all know the 10 millimeter socket disappearing is a meme. However, I'm a grown ass man who's had a set ever since leaving home. Guess what I haven't lost? What's a malicious but legal way to screw with someone? Sign them up for a visit from the Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses and keep doing it. No, you just do it once. You just do it. Well, you don't need to sign them up time and time again. Even when they're told no, they'll come around again. Get a bunch of eggs and write one, four, seven, and ten on them and so on. Hide them around the property, if you have access. They might find one or four, but then wonder where two and three were. You be- They make those beeping things you can hide that make random noises to screw with people as a prank. Hide one in their house. Again, I feel like we're missing some context here. You take thousands of keys, can buy generic bulk on eBay or Amazon, then attach a keychain with a phone number on it to the person you hate. Then leave those keys literally anywhere you possibly can and they'll receive hundreds and hundreds of phone calls and texts. Hey, I found your keys. Nuh-uh. Caught this huge wasp at lunch. <laughs> I'm so excited to go back to work and release it into the office building. Oh, I mean, you have to be there too. When I'm in a restoring faith and humanity competition and my opponent is the second word on the Wikipedia page for smallpox, we beat it. Next April Fools, we changed that was to an is for one day. Oh no. I've been alive 20 years and still haven't found the right thing to say when someone knocks on the door of the public bathroom you're in. Ah, I've been waiting for you is always a good one. I usually just yell, POOPING! Yeah, and that usually gets the message across just fine. Nickelodeon dips its toes into the hotel business. I stayed there once. There was a rotting squirrel carcass in the pool. Some kids were crying when I told them it was the real Sandy. Was it not? Is she still around? I came into the office early and switched as many M and N keys on keyboards as I could. Some might say I'm a monster, but others will say I'm a nomster. Got it! For a real reason to scream on the way down. Buy animal training clicker. Go on roller coaster. Wait for the top of the hill. Reach for the seatbelt of the person next to you. Click clicker. Seatbelt? Well, maybe, uh, maybe wooden coasters have... No, they all have lap bars. What do you mean? Lap bars are big restraints that go around your shoulders? Seatbelt? Okay, man. My neighbor has an unsecured wireless printer. I just sent this document to it. Hello, I am your printer. I have become self-aware. Feed me ink or I'll print out your search history when your wife is home alone. Yeah, we kind of did this bit over on Pymations with printer problems. Not original. Fake. Poor product quality. Poor service by seller. Delivery time below expectation. Seller response. <laughs> gotcha. Wrapping all 155 pieces for my girlfriend's Christmas present. You're really mean. You know, you're really, you're really friggin' mean. Stop. Stop it. Guys, I figured out a way to disable all ads on YouTube. Just go to the settings, huh? Woman went on six dates a week to save on food. I didn't buy groceries for two years. Good lord, that must have just been exhausting. She was sleep. I was bored. Well, I just want to say that I'm a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan, you frickin' psycho. Some mornings I like to pop into Tesco and switch the cardboard sleeves around on these just for fun. God, I wish I could go to a Tesco again. I know that everyone over in the UK is like, why? They frickin' suck. 
I know, but the food there tasted a lot better than any grocery store or Walmart I've ever been to over here. Some people have meat allergies, and those who don't eat meat for a long period of time can have a serious negative reaction to ingesting meat. This is a little too malicious to fit the sub. Yeah, this person's a d- <laughs> Yeah, you are. It's not just a funny ha-ha thing to do that to people that don't eat meat. If you glue a dead wasp to your palm, you can smack your boss on the back of the head as hard as you want and act like you saved him. Not as hard as you want, though. If you wear a falconry glove to the park and frantically look around the sky, Someone with a small dog, everyone with a small dog is gonna leave. My boyfriend purposefully hid my phone from me for a full day so I would lose my 1,318 day snap streak with my ex. <laughs> Wow. I mean, being a little appropriate with that, X? Pro tip, save business cards to people you don't like. If you ever hit a parked car accidentally, just write sorry on the back and leave it on the windshield. Yeah, just remember, don't do that though. So I downloaded this app called Be My Eyes a while ago. You get FaceTime calls from blind people all over the world and help them with whatever task it is that they need help with. I just got my first call and helped this lady pick out almond milk. <sighs> Something so small made her day. Luckily, luckily, if this were a real situation, I don't think milk of any kind and bleach smell very similar. And if they do, you might need to stop buying that brand of milk. Is there a subreddit for fun noises that don't have ASMR mouth sounds sounding? This is attempted manslaughter. Do not trust this man. Name something worse than this. Getting lemon juice on the cut while you're carrying boiling water and you spill the boiling water all over yourself. <gasps> and then the bang of you hitting the floor causes a bucket of hand sanitizer spills on you. That fell apart kind of quick. Three of us can't find the sixth difference, and I do not think that there is one. Um... Yeah, I'm really bad at these. I never finished an I Spy book. I never found Waldo. I can't help you here. Phil Collins' In the Air Tonight is on loop in the background, but it always restarts before the drum solo kicks in. You should be crucified. I'm six foot two, but I claim that I'm six foot oh. I don't know why I said oh. So that 5'11 people who lie about their height look stupid. What's a movie that doesn't seem like it would have a lot of sex scenes, but does? I want to recommend a movie with a ton of sex scenes to my cousin to watch with his family. I want suffering. Ooh, where are those recommendations, baby? Good morning. Hope everyone's enjoying their breakfast. On an unrelated note, here are my gallstones. Just label it chocolates and leave it on the coffee table. I just unscrewed the freaking toilet lid and put it on backwards. So when my family comes home and needs to take a sh <laughs> they need to fix it first. <laughs> you f <laughs> freak, I love you. This teacher is psychotic. Answer keys to an exam that my students are taking right now. Oh, you actual freak. That's not funny, dude. That's so... Screw you. Ugh. That one's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. All right. Cutting edge technology. The edge of the phone is razor sharp, and you're telling me that's normal? What phone? Imagine if you could teleport. I'm done for the night, computer. Log out. No! No! That would be kind of cray-cray, though, right? One time, someone mistakenly texted me, it's done. So I texted back. Excellent. Show me his head and you'll get your payment. Edit. The person was freaked out and sent back, I think I got the wrong number, please don't hurt me, and he never contacted me again. We love kids, but please keep yours at your table. Unattended kids will be given a shot of espresso and a free puppy. <laughs> Can you imagine having to stock puppies because you know, you know you're gonna have to hand them out. What's that? Listen, on your way here, you pass by the store and you pick up some laxatives. Then, when you get there, you mix up a drink with the laxatives. Then, when Angelo gets done and comes downstairs, you go up to him and offer him the drink. And since you guys kind of know each other, there's no reason for him to be suspicious about it. At that point, we time it. So, when we know the laxatives are kicking in, you go and lock the bathroom. Now he's gonna start panicking, right? And that's my moment. I approach him and start confronting him for screwing my girl. And from that point, all I need to do is land one punch on his stomach and he's gonna shit himself in front of the entire party. You're a genius. I'm on my way. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. I, I would not give somebody drugs against their not- I wouldn't do that. I'm sorry. This girl on Instagram posted her plane ticket and I called and canceled her flight. I'm pretending to be a hot girl on Tinder so I can match with my roommate and tell him I'm coming over so we'll clean the apartment. That's an oldie, but always a goodie. Please clean up after yourself. Travel tip. Frustrate every employee in a Canadian airport by responding to their hello, bonjour, with hello, bonjour, forcing them to guess which language to proceed in. My worst fear, turn on all cameras. This button instantly turns on all the cameras for all 86 participants. Let's see. There's a high chance you're going to encounter some of these varieties. Captain Underpants figures it's okay to join the call in their undies. The nudist, see above, but fewer clothes. The meme connoisseur 
Your call is in a minimized tab, and they're browsing memes, funny videos, or animal pictures. The meat tenderizer. Your call is in a minimized tab, and they're browsing other things, pants not included. Oscar the Grouch. Didn't think anyone would see how messy their room is. The Keeper of Secrets. Nobody comes into their room, so they aren't prepared for people to see the secrets of their life hidden in it. Anime body pillows, My Little Pony merch, fursuits, and special toys may be found. The Master of Secrets, a higher version of the Keeper of Secrets. Full-on obsessive displays, anime shrines and figure collections, impressive merch collections. They scoff at the Keepers of Secrets and their weak displays. The Redditor look, no camera, no shower. The Multitasker is busy doing something more fun and pretending to be invested in the call. The Stealth Bomber is on the toilet. 404 user not found, no wonder they were so quiet.